Hello guys, my name is Kuduru and today we're gonna be reviewing the developer update and the new progression system and meta shifting perk overhaul. So for the overhaul progression system, we expect to cut off roughly 75% of the grinding. Currently, you must reach to level 40 with any character to unlock their teachable perks and then grind them in the blood web. But now, unlocking the perks is gonna be a little bit different because they are gonna be based on the prestige system. For example, they say if you prestige the trapper, you will instantly unlock tier 1 for agitation, brutal strength and unnerving presence in all other killers instantly. And the tiers 2 and 3 version of these perks will now appear randomly in the blood web. But if you prestige the trapper again, this will make tier 2 versions of these perks immediately available and so on for tier 3. Also, there will be no more resets whenever you prestige, so you are gonna keep every offering, items and perks you already have with that character. And the perk slot will also remain unlocked after prestiging, so you can get your 4 perks in level 1. They are also introducing the new expanded prestige. Now, whenever you reach to level 50 on any character, you keep prestiging endlessly. The bloody cosmetic prestige will unlock at prestige level 4, 5 and 6. And prestige in level 7, 8 and 9 will give you a charm with that character's unique perks. Also, your currently prestige with that character will be shown at the end of the matches instead of the old ranking system. The Shrine of Secrets is also gonna benefit from this change. For example, if you buy any perk in the shrine, this perk will be immediately available for every character that can make use of it. And if you buy it for a second time, you will get the perk in tier 2 for every single character. And so on if you buy it a third time. Also, when this system releases, everyone will automatically be gaining some prestige based on the number of teachable perks that we have unlocked. And those who reach prestige 3 before the update will receive a special prestige icon to recognize their achievement. There will also be a matchmaking incentive. So to keep this ratio of 401 that we need to keep playing, killers or survivors are gonna get way more blood points depending on the demand. This bonus will range from 25 to 100% more blood points. And this is the most exciting place guys! Gameplay updates. They say that most of the consistent feedback is centered around the meta perks. They are reworking and balancing 39 perks, meta included, that we're gonna see in one moment. The generator mechanics are also gonna receive an overhaul. They are increasing the time to power a generator to 90 seconds, up from 80 seconds. And also, good news for killers, Every time that you kick a generator, this will instantly remove 2.5 maximum progress. There is also a new general killer improvement. Now, breakable walls and pallets will take 10% less time to be destroyed. And generators can also be kicked 10% faster than before. Meaning, every killer will have a small brutal strength as a base kit. Next, they have reduced the cooldown of successful basic attack by 10%, which is like 2 or 3 tokens of save the best for last as a base kit. So survivors will have less distance after being hit. And finally for this section, they have tweaked Bloodlust. Tier 1 always activates at 15 seconds, Tier 2 will activate at 25 seconds, and Tier 3 will activate at 35 seconds down from the old system 15, 30 and 45 seconds. They are also addressing the camping and tunneling mechanics that some killers have used. Now survivors will receive endurance and haste effect for 5 seconds after being unhooked. This is a base kit mechanic and you don't need borrow time. But if you make one of the following actions, repairing a gen, healing yourself or others, cleansing or blessing a totem, sabotaging a hook, unhooking others or open an exit gate, this effect will dissipate immediately. And now the most exciting section, the meta perk changes. They are addressing many perks for killers and survivors that you see every single match 99.9% .9 of the time. And now we start with the killer meta perks. With the reduced grind and the matchmaking incentives, 
Barbecue and Chili will only grant the Aura Reading without the extra blood points. Hex Ruin now will only regress 100% down from 200%. And after a survivor is killed, Hex Ruin will automatically deactivate. Pop Goes the Whistle now will remove 20% of the generator's current progress, not the total progress as it was before. But this perk will deactivate once a survivor is in the dying state. Tinkerer is gonna work exactly the same as before, except that now triggers only once per generator, similar to Merciless Storm. For Hex Noed, survivors now will see the totem's aura within 4 meters of an activation, and of a period of 30 seconds, this range is gonna increase to 24 meters. Scorch Hook Pain Resonance will still regress the generator with the most progress, but will not explode or make the survivor scream, avoiding the combo with Deadman Switch. And now the survivor meta perks. When activating Deadheart, now you will gain no distance or be invulnerable. Instead, you gain the Endurance status effect for one second. This perk will be more skill based, and if you time it correctly, you will prevent the hit and gain a speed boost. Decisive Strike now will not be able to be used after the 5 generator is repaired, and the stun duration has been reduced from 5 seconds to 3 only. Borrow time will now extend the duration of the endurance status effect up to 10 seconds, and also increasing the haste status effect during this period. Iron Wheel now reduces up to 75% of your noise, and cannot be used when exhausted. Self care speed is being drastically nerfed, going down from maximum 50% to only 35% healing speed. Spine Shield will now only activate if the killer has a clear line of sight to the survivor. And finally, they are removing the Bolt Speed bonus entirely. And now, some of the non meta perks that will receive a huge buff. Overcharge will cause a kick generator regression speed to 400% over the course of 30 seconds, plus its current effects. Eruption has a new generator regression penalty to 10% and the incapacitated status effect will increase to 25 seconds. Knockout, in addition to its current effect, will make survivors in the dying state crawl 50% slower and reduce their recovery speed by 25%. Claudophobia will now increase the speed of skill checks by 50% on top of its current effect. Dark Devotion now will activate whenever the obsession loses a health state, making it available for killers that doesn't use M1, like Huntress, Trickster, even Deathslinger. Jolt will have no cooldown, so this will punish careless survivors that play together. Lethal Pursuer now will also extend the duration of all aura reading effects by 2 seconds. And I hope this is not linger only for perks, but also for add-ons. Scorch Hook Gift of Pain will increase the action speed penalty up to 16%. Thanatophobia is increasing the action speed penalty up to 5.5% per survivor. So if you have 4 survivors injured, the penalty will increase to 22%. Monstrous Shrine is now a Scorch Hook. This pair will now convert the Basement Hook into a Scorch Hook. Additionally, Scorch Hooks will now grant 10, 15, 20% faster Entity progression for sacrifices. This effect also applies if the killer is further than 24 meters. For Survivor Perk buffs, Calm Spirit is also gonna allow you to open chests, cleanse, and bless totem silently, but with a 30% reduced speed. For the perk Saboteur, now people running this perk will be able to identify Scorch Hooks. You can use now this information to prevent the killer from using these perks. Botany Knowledge now will grant you increased healing speed up to 50%. Of the records, now will grant you the endurance status effect up to 80 seconds. Lucky Break now can be replenished. Each second spent healing another survivor increases Lucky Break's duration by one second. Pharmacy now will guarantee you an emergency med kit 
every time that you open a chest and you are injured, making it a more reliable perk for whoever wants to get healed. Soul Survivor, in addition to hiding your aura, will now increase your generator repair speed by 75% and your exit gate and hatch action speed by 50%. And of course, these effects are only active when you are the last survivor standing. Distortion now will replenish tokens like stakeout. You gain one token for every 30 seconds spent within the killer's terror radius. Lightweight now will fade your scratches mark 5 seconds sooner. Deja Vu shows you the three closest generator. On top of that, now will grant you a 5% repair speed bonus on the generators revealed to you. No one left behind now will be activated when the gates are powered and will grant 7% movement speed bonus to any survivor that you unhook during that time. Dark Sense will work differently now. When a generator is powered, Dark Sense activate. The next time the killer comes within 24 meters of you, the killer aura is revealed up to 10 seconds and Dark Sense deactivates. Tenacity now reduces your grants of pain by 75%. For hope, they have removed the duration entirely, so now you can use its effect during endgame endlessly. They also rework one of the new perks, Overzealous. They kept the same mechanic that if you cleanse a totem, your repair speed bonus increased up to 8%. Now that bonus doubles if the totem that you cleanse was a hex totem. And finally, we are gonna live forever. Similar to barbecue and chili, this perk will not give additional blood points. This perk will also allow you to pick up survivors in the dying state very quick, and protection hits or save and hook rescues will activate the secondary effect. While active, healing a survivor from the dying state will grant them endurance status effect up to 10 seconds. After you realize this action, we are gonna live forever deactivates again. And guys, this is mostly everything from the developers update. Please let me know what you think about these changes. I'm actually very surprised and happy to see all this meta shifting and health patch that they are doing for the game. And please, if you haven't done so far, consider subscribing to this channel and help me grow a little bit. It could be really appreciated. I hope you guys enjoyed this developer update. Have a great day guys! See you in the next video, bye!